maybe one of the greatest challenges that we can ever face, forgiveness. Hey, good Tuesday morning, everybody. It is the 10th of December. It is morning gospel coffee. I was trying to think. It's a anniversary of Thomas Merton's death. That's what I was trying to remember. Our gospel day is from Matthew 18, verses 12 through 14. A, a beautiful passage in this. And it is about forgiveness. And it's about God's willingness to forgive us. About God's willingness to bring us back home into the family. Uh, that God, God will do it no matter what. You know, when we seek, when we want to be found, God wants us. Uh, that makes sense. God will always forgive us when we want forgiveness. And God is coming to make sure that we know that. That's Jesus' birth makes known the fact that God wants us, that God will forgive us. And Jesus' death and resurrection reveals that to the fullest extent. You know, it sounds a little bit homiletic, but it's, you know, it's one of the hardest things uh, to accept. Maybe even up here, but down here it takes forever. I've been there. Uh, used to beat myself up for all my mistakes, the little ones as long as the big ones. Um, it's just this, it's this thing that for some reason we won't allow ourselves to be forgiven. Now, I don't believe that we can forgive ourselves. I think that's a load of hooey. Uh, if we could do that, then, then we can excuse anything. It's about accepting forgiveness from God and from others. It's about not beating myself up all the time. That's what it comes down to. Um, and But society is not that way. You know, society is about punishing, always punishing. You did something wrong, and people will bring it back up. And done something wrong, change a life. People will still beat you back down. And so we need these Christian virtues, uh, this Christian virtue of forgiveness, even in a church. The churches especially can be vicious. So what about redemption? What about forgiveness? Uh, so that's been my challenge, really, for the past few years. Uh, it was probably maybe about 10 years ago. I was reading something, article about for, about this matter. And someone says, as long, this person wrote the article, as long as we continue to punish ourselves, because we don't think we're worthy, then we negate, we deny Jesus' death on the cross and his resurrection. And boy, when I read that, it was like a slap across the face. It was like, up. Oh, and then click, 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 click. I'm like, oh, oh. And then I, I really began that work. So are we not accepting God's forgiveness? Are we staying lost? And by doing so, are we keeping others from being found and others being from forgiven? Something to think about today. Serious matters, okay? So have a nice day. See you back here tomorrow.